Hey YouTube, I got this cool, actually really cool mnemonic for external corroded artery. Um, you can kind of see what I'm doing here. So I've taken the first letters ECA and I've arranged them in this kind of weird format. So here's the E, here's the C, it's a little backwards. Here's the A, but the A has fallen and broken and it's forming another branch of this. So um, if you basically draw this out, um, you should remember the basic layout of this artery. So that being said, there's three anterior portions, there's two posterior portions, and then there's two terminal branches. And then in the medial, there's this one small branch, the ascending pharyngeal. So one way to remember the ascending pharyngeal is just remember that the crossbar of the A has descended to form the ascending pharyngeal. And that's going to branch basically near the level of this superior thyroid artery. And what I've done is I've tried to make this look sort of like a dash uh, line so it looks like it's going into this page. Um, other than that, it's also important to remember um, the external corroded artery is um, branching as um, a part of the common corroded artery with the other major artery being the internal corroded artery. So the level of bifurcation is important and that level happens just about here at the ground level if you look at this and, and pretend it's a structure and that here's two people on ground level. Um, so the bifurcation is happening at ground level. So at ground level we say hi to the hyoid and bi to the bifurcation. The reason I had this little mnemonic is because you have both the hyoid and the uh, bifurcation of the common corroded artery at this basic level where near where the superior thyroid artery is. And so of course just below the bifurcation you also have the corroded body um, so sort of a little bit of a bulge um, in that uh, arterial structure. So if you're listening for a bruit, which is um, a sound as blood passes through a atherosclerotic area in the corroded artery, um, you're going to want to place that in a specific location and that's going to be on the corroded body. And so knowing the anatomy of this is going to help you locate where you need to place your stethoscope to accurately listen to this brie. Um, so using the mnemonic, uh, we say hi to the hyoid and bi to the bifurcation. We know that the, the corroded body is just near the, the bifurcation. So, you know, if we push, put our uh, stethoscope uh, maybe just uh, below the hyoid or um, thyroid cartilage, um, superior border of the thyroid cartilage region, we should basically be on the corroded body. So that's about it. Um, maybe draw this out a couple of times. Uh, you could take a screenshot or, uh, you know, write up some of your own notes on this. Um, but please like the video if you liked it or uh, any of this was helpful for you guys. And have a good day.